Hello everybody, my name is Greg Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Now, and today I am going to show you how to run and install a dynamic DNS on your home or business servers and computers. Now, before I jump into this, this is a continuation on the IP camera setup and I talked a little bit about that because if you want to, to remote access to those cameras you need to have some type of dynamic DNS service and it can be free or not but you need to have that if your IP is not static now as far as the uh, uses for a dynamic DNS simply this is to say if you got some type of remote access for I don't know say a DVR your home automation system saying you got one a computer uh, server I, I don't anything really then and your IP address jumps around and what you probably have is some ports going to these things so say for example with my um, IP camera it's on port 81 simple as that well my since my um, IP address is not static I, I can have it working one day and the next day I don't know my IP address so therefore I can get in so in order to get around that where I can ensure myself to get in I have to use a dynamic DNS how that works in itself is you basically install some given software and on a machine on your network either being a business or home and it looks at your IP, your public IP address and it constantly feeds back to the service what is your IP address your public IP address that way your stuff will automatically connect it to your systems so as far as things goes let's jump on in now real quick uh, this is the most popular one for a long time the DYN DNS and um, they change their name change their stuff to remote access now it's not popular anymore because it's $24 a year it's paid you can get dynamic DNS services for free now with this in mind paid or not the security today might be horrible or tomorrow so that's one thing to keep in mind and as some people have said in the past if you have a remote access system the makers of that remote access system being an application or a website they can use that for malicious purposes so you got to keep that in mind but also keep in mind that uh, there's laws in place to protect you if that happens and you can sue the living crap out of those people so the second one is DYNNU this is why I personally use mostly because of the site that you make I'll explain this a little bit more it's a little bit more easier in the last, and, and this is free, there's a paid version, but there's a free, and I'm currently using the free version. And the no IP, and I have used this, is a little more complicated, and not so much on how to set it up. They're pretty much the same, it's just the host name, and I'll explain that in a second. Now, as far as things goes, again, with all these, you must download something. And right down here here's the icon of the no IP and right here is the icon for the DYNU now as far as the DYNU and it's just pretty much the same thing as here what you need to do is make your username simple as that from there what you need to do is make a host name this is basically doing something like this and part of this is going to be blocked out but it's basically making um, blah blah dot d-y-n-u dot com so basically you type in whatever blah blah dot d-y-n or dot d-y-n-u dot com and then put in a the port and it's as if you just put in your IP address so that's that's basically what you have to do with, with these and that, that's a simple way I can I can explain it I'll show you it in a second but in order to set it up you have to obviously download something here it is the location here is a little bit different 
but as far as this goes what you need to go is go to general settings make sure that this is your current ip just go to google search what is my ip address and it will show you your public ip address obviously this is going to be blocked out for obvious reasons again and um then what you need to do is after you make your ports you need to test it out and for the no ip i'll show you that method in a second but for the dynu you got to be logged in go into the online tools port track and make sure that this is your current ip address and type in whatever port that you made so for example my um my ip camera is port 81 so I cl click that, click continue, and it says success. Now, as far as if you got some firewall stuff on your computer, I think it's 3389. Um, if you got firewall stuff on your computer, you disable some ports or whatever, or firewalls on your, your routers and you didn't set it up right, then you'll get something like this where it's slow, it times out, and it fails and um, you could get a timeout failure or just it says fails. Now, as far as if you're using no IP, and by the way, here's the failure. And if you're using no IP, you see something like this and does the same thing like before, you uh, get a password fail and just type, make sure that this is your, your IP address and then just put in the port and just check it and if this works then your dynamic DNS should work given that you type everything right let's check it real quick and this should log me into my camera and take a look in a second and there you go it's remote access and whatnot just temporary setup but still this proves that it works now, if I want to try to access my computer, I got firewalls and stuff like that that blocks it all together. Then been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of TechFuse and Up. And if you got any questions or anything, then feel free to leave them in the comment section. If you got any uh, tips for any other dynamic DNS uh, websites and whatnot, feel free to leave that also in the comments. And that way people can get a good list of what's out there. Again, it's up to you to do research on what service and what, what company you want to go with. So that's a big thing that you want to keep in mind, but you also want to keep in mind the uh, they really can't get into your own stuff if your stuff is already secure. So say for example, I can have it linked to my um, to my router. I can have it linked to my IP camera. I can have it linked to all this other stuff. And if it's password protected and strong password protected with a 256 AES and it's a real good password, then they can't get into it. At least it's really hard for them to, not saying it's completely impossible. Now, again, if you run into any problems, feel free to leave me a comment below, email me on techfusenup.com, and if this helped you, then please like, please subscribe, and please share, and I hope you have a great day.